Hey there, bro stuff here, and uh, today I wanted to, let me lift this up. It might be a little better if I do it this way. There we go. Um, today I wanted to just talk to you real quick um, before I go into a meeting about Philippians chapter 3, actually verses 9 through 21. And I'll let you read it on your own. But basically what Paul was talking about and sharing with us was that through faith, um, our faith that we have in Jesus Christ, we receive through faith the righteousness of Christ. And, you know, I was thinking about that. I heard that. I was listening to a devotional and I heard the person uh, talking about that. And it just, um, hi, Rachel. Uh, it just amazed me um, that it's a faith thing. We're not righteous because of what we do. We're righteous because of our faith that we've placed in Jesus Christ. That's what it's all about. It's about what he's done for you and for me. And so I thought this would be a terrific Bible insight to share with you and to encourage you to take some time today to thank God for sending Jesus to die for us and to be raised from the dead. The first to be raised from the dead, by the way. And he did that and went through all that suffering for you and for me. That his righteousness would be imputed to us. So when he changes these mortal bodies to immortal in the resurrection of the dead, uh, we will be fit for heaven and righteous and clean and perfect just as he is because of him. It's an amazing thing when you think about it. So let me encourage you today. Take a minute. Hi, Sherry Ann. Let me give you a wave. There you go. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Cheryl Ann. Need to get names right. My wife tells me that all the time. Now, now, this gentleman that just uh, came in, I'm just going to say the last part of the name because the first part I'll goof up. Sander. Hi, let me give you a wave. There you go. Um, but anyway, read Philippians chapter 3. It, it would just be terrific for you to do that today. Before you lay down tonight, close your eyes, and go off to dreamland, Read Philippians 3 and then bow your head in all sincerity and just give a big shout out and thank you and praise to the Lord for everything he's done for you. And thank him that his righteousness has now become yours through the faith that he gave you by his Holy Spirit. Isn't that amazing how it all works? He gives you the faith to believe and then he gives you his righteousness, so that you'll be perfect in a spiritual sense. You'll be perfected, and you'll be able to be with him in heaven. It's just amazing, isn't it? So that's, I want to leave that with you. Um, and just encourage you, do that today. Take some time and say thank you to the Lord. God bless you. This is uh, Bible Insights with Bro Steph. And I thank you for tuning in. Uh, I think I may do more of these Bible insights, you know, uh, through the week because they're not real long and they're powerful and they're, I think, very encouraging. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up, share it, tell people about it, and I'll know that I should keep doing it because more people will show up. Okay? God bless you. See you again on another Bible insight. Bye for now. Oh, and by the way, check out on Facebook at uh, Bible 
Insights, and you'll find my Bible Insight uh, page. And I got a lot of cool teachings on it and all that kind of thing. Okay, bye for now.